All right, everybody, here is a really quick update for you so you can see some of the uh, new features and the next rollout in iteration two of the L Messenger application. Uh, this is, uh, we've just been working behind the scenes here so you can kind of see what's going on. This is on my desktop. It's not actually in the Chrome store. That's how it works when we're building these out. We can't just upload like small little details to the Chrome store at a time. It, it goes through our approval process. So I want to make sure that when we do upload it, it is functioning the way that we want it to function. So here is what you get to look forward to. Uh, as we continue to roll out uh, this application in its uh, true majesty, so to speak. So uh, here we are loaded into our, our messenger. And you can see that obviously we have some of the stuff that you're familiar with. We have the tagging process. We have the note process here as well. These right here, uh, as you can see, will will have the opportunity of being you know translated in between each other. And the bug where it was not saving uh, has been fixed. So for example, if I go here to Fred uh, and I click on Fred and I say new note, and I click that save button icon right there, I can go down to Fred here and then I can see his note right up here at the top. And when I click that, you can see a new note right there. So you can see that it is, of course, translating over uh, in real time. And of course, you can see the number of tags that we have here. When we drop down our menu, you're going to notice that there are a few differences here as well. Again, filtered by tag. That's something that you are used to. Filtered by message. Uh, also something that you're used to is the person who replied to you or replied back. Filtered by note. This is going to be a new feature that you uh, will be able to use as well. You just simply open this up. You'll be able to type in the, the note or the keyword that you want to be able to filter by. So if you have, you know, follow up or something like that inside of any of the notes, you'll be able to use that. And we'll, we'll, we'll put together some training to show you some ways that we have an idea to conceptualize that, give you some use cases for it. Here is a broadcast. Also, you are used to that as well. Simply choose the tag that you desire and then you'll be able to turn it on and you'll be able to send that broadcast by either a note or by a tag. So the keyword in the note or the keyword in the, uh, in the tag itself. So new friends uh, with a specific note or new friends, you know, things like that. Here inside of our interval, obviously that is the same. You have the custom interval option right here. So you'll be able to set a custom interval in between that. So if you wanted to make sure that you're getting a little bit more of a delay, you can. Then of course you have the opportunity of being able to assign a new tag when this message has been sent. So as an example, you'll be able to go through here and be able to create a, a series of tags for individuals in your process so you know whether or not that's a person worth following up with. So that's the new tag assignment there underneath the broadcast feature. Now here you also notice that we have a new new ta uh, little icon here called campaign. It's basically the exact same option as the broadcast feature. Only difference is this is going to allow you to send a campaign which is a, a predefined message series. And again, you have the same option to be able to retag a person uh, based off of where they are at in that particular campaign. Uh, remove friends, same concept here. All the way down to that custom feature, you can remove people uh, at an interval with the application as well. And then of course, adding friends. This is just here because uh, what we're gonna be doing is we're going to be uh, converting the entire Facebook interface into basically uh, just a, a modified experience so that we're, we're in groups or anywhere you can add automated friend requests, uh, it'll just be there for you to be able to select. We're going to get that in a second uh, as we continue to move down the road with this particular application. But this iteration right here also has the ability for you to be able to create calendar integrations. So as an example here with Fred, if I wanted to, uh, a reminder about uh, reaching out to Fred here, I would simply uh, click on the little calendar icon. I'll be able to upload, uh, click on this menu option right here for my calendar. And then here, well, obviously you're not going to be able to see it in this particular view, but I have a whole calendar option <laughs> on the outside of my computer. Let's see, I'm going to pull this up. And then you'll be able to see here that I have a whole calendar option right here where I can select a date in the future, a time in the future. And then I can select, for example, today or to whatever the case might be. And then in this particular instance, I can I can have that go to my Google Calendar uh, and it will then say right up here at the top, you can see the Google Calendar event is saved. And then I can come on over here to my QWERTY Face Media Calendar, do a really quick refresh, and you will see that I have a reminder uh, on the calendar. Hold on, let me go back here and actually finish that out so that we can go here. Uh, let me select my timer. I guess I want to go to p.m., 8 o'clock. And PM and then we'll select that just like so whoops I clicked off of it and then right here 831 at 839 p.m. okay calendar event has been saved go ahead and refresh our screen and then we'll oops I'm in the wrong week so we'll just cruise over here 
uh, 831. And then you can see that we have both of those reminders here on our Google Calendar uh, to reach out to Fred via uh, in the uh, same thing here. I have two of them because I, I scheduled that twice. And you have that reminder here inside of your Google Calendar. That's what that is going to go over to. Uh, we are waiting for Google to approve the integration for that calendar in app. Uh, right now, you will t have to you know tell it to, hey, this it, it gives you a warning. It says that this is not an approved application. And then you can, of course, let it go through. But this gives you the option of being able to schedule a time with a person on your Google Calendar right from within the Facebook Messenger, which is going to be a huge improvement uh, for people specifically running agencies, those of us who are using the profile profiteer methodology, where we're going in, we're creating relationships with people, and we're going to need to be reminded to follow up with people at specific times in the future. So this right here is inside of L Messenger V2, which is going through its 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 beta test. I'm going through and testing it right now to make sure everything's functioning. Uh, but this is all inside here. So you'll be able to send messages. You'll be able to send series. So for example, here inside of our L Messenger Pro, so you can see our, see our typical tags and all that kind of stuff. If we cruise on down here to new friend, we can open this up. You see that we have message segments and message templates. Okay. And then here, when we go into our message templates, you'll see that we have the option of staggering these. So here, uh, this will be the, the first one that goes out immediately. This will be the second one that goes out one, uh, the next message. It's not a specific time frame. It's just the next message that would send based off of where we were in the broadcast series. So when we're running our broadcast, it will run whatever message that particular contact is on here inside the broadcast messenger. So if I add another one, this is the third Oh, third message okay and then we go ahead and save that you'll see here that i can just go in this is the third and then i'll be able to adjust this to the third message so this is the first message second message third message that's going to go out if we're going to send a broadcast go back over here oops cancel that and go back out cancel this one oh, message segments there we go so in a message segment same thing title of the message here is the the new segment line so for example this is a, 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 a introduction. And then here I can say, uh, hi, and then I can save that just like so. And then you'll see that I have an introduction here. And then inside this introduction, I can save a new line. So this one's actually still in the process of being developed. This is not done in this particular iteration, but uh, this will be done before we uh, roll out our full version of it. And we'll go forward with that. So these are just some of the updates that you get to look forward. You'll notice there are a number of uh, uh, significant improvements. Another thing that you'll notice here, uh, let's say for example, if we wanted to go here to not responded, and we're gonna filter our our messages by not responded, right? So just simply click on that. Uh, and we'll, we'll go by tag. So we'll filter it here by our FunnelX advanced users. When the system is filtering, you'll notice right here that we do have that stop filter option that is going to be right here. So uh, when it's going through, if you wanted to stop it, you just simply click on that stop filter and it will stop the filtration process from taking place. Now this little uh, thing right here, you can see the FunnelX advanced tags. It will only show you the tags that loaded during the time it was filtering. It's not going to show you any of the tags that are beyond that. Uh, so that is the filtration process. So if you are, uh, you're, you're maybe you're you're in a hurry to get something done. You're looking for a specific tag. You filter by tag. You stop the filter. You'll be able to get that uh, right there at the top of the page there. So this is pretty cool. These are some of the updates uh, that we have implemented in the system. Another thing that you're going to notice when we do roll the update out is it is actually about 10 times faster uh, than it is currently. So the, the current version that you are using for L Messenger uh, is going to be significantly uh, slower compared to this one when it's doing the filtering. So that stop filter option might not even be necessary for you uh, because as an example here, if I just go right here back to, uh, I can go filter by by tag here and I go a new friend. Oh, yeah, here's the other thing. Uh, here's all of the people. So there's 1,288 people tagged with new friend. Here's one person tagged with inner circle. Uh, well, yeah, that's not accurate, but <laughs> there's more than one inner circle. But right here we have three family members, 44 prospects, uh, 10 Funnel X advanced members, all the way down. So every person that's tagged, there's 1,378 total conversations inside of my messenger. You can see that right there uh, with that all tag right there at the top. So we're gonna go ahead and filter once again by tag and we'll go here to, uh, as an example, a new friend. We'll filter that and you can see how quickly it actually uh, sorted those out. So it's really, really fast in its new version, being able to get those tags squared away. So hopefully you guys are really excited about this. I wanted to record this video to show you what we've got going on <laughs> because I know uh, a lot of you are out there, you're trying to uh, get people to understand the value behind this application 
and uh, I want you to know what is coming. So this is going to be uh, fully released, should be fully released here by the 1st of September so that we have uh, 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 the application in its full majesty uh, by the time we roll back the $197 lifetime pricing. So anybody who has anybody on the hook who is interested in this product, tell them to take advantage of that offer because it is going to be the best deal that they're ever going to be able to get with the application. It's going to be $97 a month for all three apps uh, uh, when we go into September. We're going to offer a 50% coupon for people, so they're still going to be paying $48.50 a month. Uh, all you partners out there who have this offer, get this into the hands of those who are on the fence because you can see here uh, that we are actually updating this to make it everything it's supposed to be to help you do a lot better with your organic marketing, talking to people, building relationships, following up with them, just remembering uh, to, to do that. So lots of things that we can do with these individuals. Hopefully this makes sense. Any questions, comments, and or concerns, uh, feel free to uh, reach out to me personally. And I'll be happy to help you. Have a good day, guys. Appreciate you.